Yo, what's going on you guys? I'm Terminal Lance and today we're going to be playing some Firebase Z and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Wonder Weapon in just 20 rounds. So what we're going to be doing is you're going to be spawning off in this room. You're going to be spawning off in this area, right? You're going to have to go down to the teleporter. You're going to teleport to Vietnam. After you do that, there's going to be three ether reactors that you need to turn on. So after you power will turn on and you will have power for the whole entire the whole entire map so what i ended up doing i ended up going towards the left hand side of the map made my way up the stairs all you have to do is just follow the arrows very simple straightforward follow the arrows uh and it'll take you straight to the ether reactors turn those on and then after you turn them on you're gonna have to collect souls on each on each reactor so these are these are called collection units once these collection units are filled up and charged all the way up the purple bar will then disappear and then you'll see this huge blast. If you see that once you see this huge blast, that means you already completed the the first the first reactor. So once you complete the first reactor, you're gonna make your way down towards the second reactor, right? So towards the second reactor, you're gonna make your way down to the satellite. You're gonna go up the stairs again. Follow the same arrows. Really not that hard. Follow this, follow the arrows. After you do that, you're gonna come down. Do the exact same thing. Turn on the power. And then protect the collection units. Do the same thing, fill the purple bar all the way up. Once you get, once you fill up the purple bar, then you're gonna be given a you're gonna be given a blast. Once you finish that blast, then you're done. You're complete with the second reactor. So unfortunately I didn't have enough cash for this for the last reactor. So what I ended up doing was going down to this uh, computer area. I ended up collecting the blueprint. This is gonna be where you find the blueprint for the uh, the wonder weapon. And if you pay close attention to the characters, they'll be telling you where to go find the the um, the body. So there's going to be a lot of bodies in this. There's going to be a lot of bodies, dead bodies in this in this place. So what we're going to be doing is go down to the control center. Once you find the control center, you're going to go to the outside area. You're going to go to the outside portion of the map. You're going to find the eyeball. You're going to extract it from the zombie. You're gonna make your way down to the where you, you're gonna make your way down to the computer lab where you find your blueprint. Then it is. Then they're gonna do a rectal scan. Once you do that, you're gonna the door is going to open up and give you the locker key. Once you get the locker key, once you open up the door, you're gonna get the locker key, and then you're gonna make your way down to the I made. So you're gonna make your way down to the third reactor. You're gonna fill the whole bar up till it's purple, and once you do that. Uh, it's gonna give you a purple blast that you already turned on all the power. Then you're gonna take that, you're gonna take the locker key and go down to the barracks, and you're gonna try to open up these lockers. Once you open up these lockers, there's going to be a Marco that comes out. Um, usually, if it, if if the Marco does not contain that that uh, weapon piece, if that if that Marco does not contain that weapon piece, you're gonna have to go to barracks number one or barracks two, depending on where you're at. I started with barracks number two, and I ended up. Uh, getting the Margo to give me the the piece on the first try so then after that you're gonna go down to this computer you're gonna interact with the computer and it's going to give you a Simon Says kind of uh, kind of game where right? you're gonna have to memorize this once you memorize it you're then going to make your way down to where the Pack-a-Punch area is at once you make your way down to the Pack-a-Punch area and on the left hand side is gonna be a room with a dartboard and then that dartboard will essentially be the same thing that the computer told you to do. So if the computer said, uh, if the computer gave you like a, a shady color, it's going to be black. If it gave you a solid color, it's going to be white. So you're going to have to follow the same order that I had. And then you're going to hit the bullseye in the center. So the, I tried the first time. It, was, it didn't go through the first time. So I did seven, nine, the same pattern it gave me on the computer, 10, and then in the bullseye. And then it'll open up the centerpiece. Once this opens up the centerpiece, it's going to give you this this converter, Ethereum converter. So once you open it up, it's going to give you the Ethereum converter. You need this piece. This is the most important piece. You need this piece to actually get the Wonder Weapon. And then in round 15, you're going to get this mechanical zombie uh, with a blaster in its hand. Usually on round 15, if it doesn't come out or if it doesn't give you the the piece, you're going to have to wait until the, you're going to have to wait until the second round to collect the power cell. The power cell is going to be the, the clip essentially for the wonder weapon. Once you collected all four pieces, you're gonna take the power cell and you're gonna charge it. You're gonna charge it for about two rounds. So for me, it took me eight, it took me around to 18th round. Once I got to round 18, two rounds, you are good to go. 
and there you go you build your wonder weapon once you build your wonder weapon you are unstoppable you're good to go and then around 30 around 30 there is going to be a little small mission that you have to protect and you have to destroy the order the order is going to be the huge boss zombie so this huge boss zombie comes out you have to kill it and if you have the wonder weapon that's a good thing because it's going to be easy to take down if you have the wonder weapon if you don't have the wonder weapon and you're just rocking shotguns because it's the easiest thing to kill the margwas then you know it's uh it's going to be a little difficult and it's going to be a little tough But I did use a cruise missile to actually take down a pretty significant amount of damage on it. And even if, even without the cruise missile, I still ended up uh, taking the, I still ended up taking pretty good damage from the from the order. So I ended up doing that. But anyways, guys, if you guys like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. But I'll see you guys next time.